angel comes and says to this young lady, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And again, petitions the young lady, and the young lady, her response to that of what God wanted in her life was, Behold the hand of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. And therefore we have that realization that when it comes to that of a king, that that is there. That is, that she again is saying, if this is what God wants of me in my life, I accept it. Something we know in the world today is unacceptable. Nobody wants to accept what God wants in their lives. Rather, again, they choose to deform themselves, transform themselves into monsters today. Because they, again, cannot grasp the reality that God made them for this, and they refuse to be that which is there. So if we keep this in mind, then we can again look at that, why the church celebrates a quinceanera. And in celebrating a quinceanera, it sees again that of the model of faith, Our Lady and her life. And so with that realization then of seeing that model of faith, we again have that of looking at Mary. And so we have this presented in the reading and the gospel. In the reading, we again see that praise of a woman. A woman who truly is a woman. A woman that we can again look at when we think of that of when it comes to that of a mother. And the child again who goes to a mother. As we again see ourselves as we in our needs go to Our Lady and ask her to assist us. Because we see in her a woman. And therefore as such again that praise that is there. And then we see that of the Gospel. And the Gospel again reminds us that of looking at that of a life of a woman. And there is Mary. She again hears that her cousin Elizabeth is with child, and that of knowing, therefore, that her cousin would be in need, leaves everything and goes to assist her cousin in haste. As, again, we look at Scripture, we again look at those passages that reflect that which is there. We go back to chapter 29 of that of Genesis, and there is another woman, Rebecca. And here we again have that Isaac, who again is of, of that age. We have Abraham who says, I want my son Isaac to marry. But when I look out amongst the people that are here where I am, I cannot find a woman. And therefore I want you, when he speaks to his servant, to go to my country to find a woman for my son Isaac. And the servant is saying, if there's not a woman here, what is a woman? So that when I encounter her, I know that this is certainly a woman. And he has this inspiration, which is very simple, but a reality. That when, again, I ask her for something, she not only gives it to me, but she makes sure that everything is fine. And therefore, again, meeting Rebecca, he requests that of that water. And she, of course, says yes. And not only that, but I'll make sure, again, everything is taken care of. And therefore, as such, he again knows that this is the woman that God wants for Isaac. And therefore, as such, again, we see that because Mary also, she hears that her cousin is in need, she again goes immediately. But it's not the only time. We again can look at that of chapter 2 in John's Gospel. And there again, there's the wedding feast of Cana, and the wine fails. Who's the one who again notices that the wine has failed? The woman. And there again is the woman who goes to her son and says, the wine has failed. Why? Because she knows that her son is gone. And therefore, her son knows that she is a woman. And that she won't rest until everything is fine. Because it's within her nature. And therefore, as such, he changes that water into wine. And of course, we know that everything is fine. Because we don't hear of any more about it. And therefore, as we see this, then you also have to look at that in your life very much. That is, you have to realize that if I can make sure that in my life everything is fine, if I can look at my family and make sure that everything is fine for them, if I can look again at those around me and make sure that their needs are taken care of, I know and can say I am a woman. And therefore, again, that's why we celebrate with you. Because definitely, when we think of that, we know that everything is fine if there is a woman in our midst. And so as we again have that, that is what we're celebrating with you today. Finally, of course, we know that today you celebrate your quinceanera, a dream many young ladies have, and that again is to celebrate their quinceanera, but not as a girl, but as a woman. So again, we 